What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys we're going to be talking about Apple's keynote today about the iPhone 5 and some more awesome products. Yes. Oh, Apple gave us what we wanted. Alright, so guys, I have a lot to go over in this video, and thank you all for uh, your support on Twitter today. Uh, as you know, I covered a lot of things, pretty much just retweets, because it was during Spanish class, so I couldn't get uh, a lot out, but um, I'm just like geeking out right now, because what Apple announced today is really, really exciting, and this is everything that we guessed, we wanted, and hoped. So let's start by going to Apple's website. I'm not even going to put pictures in, you're just going to get uh, to see what, everything off of Apple's site. So... Whoa, this looks familiar. Check this out. So this is Apple's front uh, front page to their um, website right now. And it says iPhone 5, the biggest thing to happen to the iPhone since the iPhone. And I definitely agree that that's true. Now this is not some, you know, iPhone 4S Mark II. This is, this is a redesign. So we'll start by going to the store. And as you can see, we have several new products uh, in line for us. So we'll start with the iPhone and we'll work our way down. The iPhone 5 is almost available for pre-order, which will start September 14th. Now, their price ranges are the same, you know, 16 gig, 199, uh, 32 gig, 299, and 64 gig, uh, 399. So it comes in the white and black color still. And as you can notice, there are some pretty noticeable changes. So let's just go ahead and go to the iPhone 5 page here. And yes, this does look very familiar. So as you can see, we have our typical iPhone 5 design. That was all rumored and everything. This is identical uh, to the rumors. So we'll start off looking at the thinner, lighter designs, so much uh, than before, and so much less too. So I'll just actually go back to that picture. Look at how nice that thing looks. I think the black model looks incredible. If I do choose to get this, I'm definitely going with the black. It looks so nice. Um, so as you can see, uh, the screen, it has five rows. Yes, this is a four-inch screen like we've begged and pleaded Apple, and uh, it does have five rows of icons, so you can add a fifth row, um, and it does have that liquid uh, metal aluminum band around it, just like we thought, uh, and it looks really nice, especially with the black color. And then if we look at the back here, uh, you can see that it has that uh, kind of uh, two-toned coloring that I said before, and we knew this was coming, and it just, oh my god, it just looks awesome. So we'll look at another picture here. We have a four-inch retina display, uh, it says it's not just bigger, it's just right, and apparently uh, the idea of the screen, it looks even better than what you get typically with your regular retina display. Uh, they've enhanced the graphics and stuff and colors like 44%, um, so this thing looks marvelous. Then uh, ultra fast wireless, yes, Apple did announce 4G LTE with this thing, so that's pretty much on any carrier you get, um, and also there's ultra fast Wi-Fi as well. And then we'll go to the next picture here. And this has the A6 processor chip. I figured I'd mention that too. Um, which uh, is a level up from the A5X, which was only in the iPad 3 this year. Um, so all new devices I'm hoping are going to ship with A6. And then we have our iSight camera on the back, which hasn't really changed. You know, it's still 8 megapixels, 1080p. But you'll notice that there's a microphone right in between the LED flash and the camera now, which is a very good thing. And it even shoots in panorama. And you can just see this aluminum design right here on the bottom. It does look really nice. And then uh, we'll just see iOS 6. Now, we all know what this is. Here's just a demo of Siri. Obviously, that's going to be shipping on this beautiful thing. And then just a demo of the new maps that will be in iOS 6. So let's really talk about the design. So, yes, this is everything that the rumors had. As you can see just here on the bottom of the iPhone, uh, like we figured the iPhone... Actually, like, the headphone jack is there, and then we have our speaker grills, which are brand new, and then that little mini dock port, just as we guessed. And as you can see, uh, it does have the uh, tampered two-tone design with the aluminum and the glass here. And we will scroll down, and uh, the screen is pretty much just much bigger. Slide to unlock. Look at how big that screen is. So it does look really, really cool. And, of course, you know, we have our five icons. And it's just, it's so much bigger <laughs> than what we regularly had. Uh, so, and then the front camera also is moved to the top as well as what we had just guessed. Um, so we'll go ahead and scroll down here. Here's the side of it. And like I said, uh, they've changed the band uh, to a little bit of a darker tone so it looks really, really nice with black. And then we get into our white iPhone. Now this looks even cooler. Now this still does contain, uh, 
your aluminum band that you got on the uh, iPhone 4S and stuff, but it is a little bit different. As you can see, the uh, antenna gaps are filled in this time, and so this white one looks really nice too. Check out the back on this thing. Uh, so, you know, we still have our camera here, microphone, and our uh, flash. Obviously, you're going to see more parts to the iPhone on uh, the white version itself. We'll go down here a little bit. And yes, guys, those headphones are true as well. So uh, the thin duck uh, connector thing and the new headphones were announced uh, by Apple. So they do look pretty cool. I don't know how well they're going to fit in the ear, but they do look nice. And I'm pretty excited to test them out as well. And they are called ear pods. So here's just a overview and design of them uh, side by side. And they kind of just, uh, I guess, fit inside your ear <laughs> the way they're shaped. Uh, but they do look pretty cool. And then this is just uh, some economic information and stuff. So uh, iPhone 5, it's going to be uh, 199 As you can see here, we have our A6, A5, and A4 processor chips. And you can see that the iPhone 5 does look much more dramatic than the 4S. Uh, and the iPhone 4, uh, which is great, and it does look nice and everything. It's going to be coming on your simple carriers, which will be uh, AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon, and as you can see, uh, they even consider different colors now, like here they have black, white, black, white, and then black and slate, and white and silver, so that depends both on the aluminum bands and the aluminum backs, so it'll tell you the colors right here. Obviously, the weight and dimensions has changed on this, along with the uh, display, the cellular, uh, still running on the same SIM, or actually, sorry, no, this is running with uh, the nano sim and iPhone 5 is not compatible with existing uh, micro sim cards that kinda sucks uh, that doesn't help me at all because I plan to use a different upgrade on my family's account um, you know we still have Siri and then the eyesight camera uh, has changed not really actually at all maybe there are just some new features uh, here and there but not really and the uh, the iPhone 4 got very little updates, you know, it's not getting much updates with iOS 6 like Panorama and so on. And then we'll go to FaceTime. Finally, we have an HD front-facing camera on the top of the speaker, this time 720p HD video. Uh, then, you know, we have our typical FaceTime video recording. Uh, the headphones, which come with the Apple EarPods, and then the 4S, and the 4 will still ship with the actual earphones. And then the connectors, this is the new lightning connector right here, then you have your typical 30 pins. Um, but these are the new lightning connectors, and Apple will sell an adapter where you could just plug it into your old one and it'll still work, or you could do it vice versa. And then, of course, we have our simple uh, prices as well. So capacity and price, you know, 16, 32, 64 gigs, 199, 299, 399, and then the iPhone 4S is brought down a uh, 16 gigabyte model uh, to 100 bucks, and the uh, iPhone 4 uh, was brought down to 8 gigabytes for free, you know, with a new two-year contract, and the 3GS. Uh, like we hoped, is now gone. So we'll go to the top here. So that's pretty much the iPhone 5, guys. I figured, you know, that was the most important thing, but we're not going to stop yet. As you can see, there are some pretty other cool things. Uh, on the page, first thing to check out, or second thing to check out, is the iPod Touch. Whoa, this has changed. So uh, let's have a look at this, actually. So this starts at $299 compared to the fourth generation iPod Touch. So this is the iPod Touch 5G that you're looking at right here. Um, so the 4G uh, used to ship in black and white. This iPod Touch only ships in white. And as you can see, the back has changed from when we had that kind of shiny mirror back. Uh, it's changed to this aluminum, and it comes in gray or slate, uh, silver, red, pinkish, yellow, and blue. The blue looks the nicest, I think. And uh, we'll just go ahead and view some more images here. Uh, so there's all the designs, and it does come with the ear pods. And then here's uh, them stacked together. Here's a look at them, and definitely check out the backs here. They do look a little bit interesting. Uh, they have about the same camera lens size as what the iPhone 5 now has, along with, you know, uh, the mic in the middle and the flash. And so, yes, the iPod Touch now has flash. I'm just discovering that now. Um, I guess this is the little Wi-Fi indicator that they're bringing back now from the iPod Touch 2G and 3G. And then I'm not really sure what the silver thing is on the bottom. <laughs> And then the, the ear pods, and then here's just a look at one of the blue iPod touches. Um, so it does look really nice, and it does have the uh, little lightning port uh, for charging on the bottom, and the headphone jack and the speaker grills are very much similar uh, to what we had on the iPhone 5. So that's the iPod Touch. It's going to start uh, from 299 I guess, at 8 gigabyte. Um, and it does look really cool. I don't think I'll be picking up one of these myself, you know, because I, I will be getting the new iPhone 5. Uh, but these iPod Touches do look very, very cool. I like them a lot. And uh, nice job with the design, Apple. I also figured that I'd bring out uh, also that uh, there's the 4-inch screen on this as well. We'll just go ahead and look at the Learn More About here. Um, and we'll just look at the design. Uh, so thinnest, lightest iPod ever. 
and as you can see here, just to better look at these images, oh, we saw these already. Oh, there's a strap here too. Uh, the EU can attach. That's what the silver thing is. Um, what the silver thing is there for is because you can get these little hand straps uh, to put on your iPod Touch, and I guess it's magnetic, uh, kind of like the smart cover. That's pretty cool. And um, so let's have a look around here. Here's just a look at the screen, and then so these are called the loop. This is called the loop, and this goes on the iPod Touch. It's not a magnet actually. It loops around this little silver thing. Um, and then you just push in the button on the back here, and then it pops out, and you put the loop on it. And then, you know, you could get it uh, depending on your iPod color. And uh, so it looks pretty cool, actually, if you ask me. Um, so uh, that's how it'll look, and then it just uh, comes right off when you loop it off, and then you just press the silver button back in. And then, you know, we went over the earbuds already, uh, and then here's the yellow one, and so on. So we'll just look here. So the iPod Touch, uh, for sure, this fifth generation, we'll just look at specs compared here. Um, you know, the iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano we'll get into, but the iPod Touch, we'll just look at these three rows here. This is 4G, and then this is the iPod Classic. So we'll just look at uh, these two rows right here. So we have a 5 uh, megapixel iSight camera still, uh, but we do have 1080p video recording now on the iPod Touch. Siri on the iPod Touch, yes. Um, uh, then we have uh, video playback has changed a bit, and then we have all of our colors here along with a red color uh, exclusive uh, for Apple stores, Apple EarPods, Lightning to USB cable, and the iPod Touch Loop. So uh, there actually is no 8 gigabyte model. Sorry if I got wrong on that before. There is no 8 gig model. Uh, it just starts at a 32 gig model. Uh, they just discontinued the 8 gig for, uh, I guess you could say, the iPod Touch 5G. And then for the iPod Touch 4G, they went up to 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabyte options only, and they took off the 64 gig for this one. There is no more 8 gigabyte options at all uh, for any of the iPod lines. They just knocked that one off. There's actually no more 8 gigabyte uh, options available for any Apple products to date uh, that are new and updated. Um, and then, like I said, the 5G gets 32 and 64 gigs. And then we'll just scroll down here a little bit. Um, and we'll look around. So this has the 4-inch display, like I said, and then the old one has the 3.5. So it also comes up with the uh, pretty much same specs of what we had uh, with the iPhone 5. And then I'm pretty sure, yep, this has the A5 chip. So Siri will run pretty good on the iPod Touch 5th generation. So now that means every new Apple product is going to ship with Siri, at least every iOS device. That means the new iPod Touch, uh, the new iPad and the new iPhone. Not new iPad, but you know what I mean, the iPad 3. Let's also get into the iPod Shuffles and Nanos. Uh, shuffles, no updates at all, uh, just pretty much uh, just color updates. And then the iPod Nanos we'll have a look at too, and these got a redesign as well. This looks really, really cool. Um, so it's different from what we have with the 6G, you know, with the little box. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, buttons. I'm not sure if it's a retina display. Probably not. Um, but you do have your purple, yellow, blue, green, uh, gray. Go back to green there. Uh, red and gray. And then the screen, the front is white, and there is a little home button there if you can't uh, tell. And then we'll scroll down here. You can watch videos on this thing, uh, listen to music, Bluetooth on this thing as well, which is pretty cool. That's actually really, really cool. Um, and then we have our radio and the ear pods, of course. And this also has the lightning connector, uh, fitness, photos, podcasts, iTunes, and accessibility. And really cool colors, too. It doesn't look like we have any camera on this thing, uh, but I guess that's all right. I mentioned iOS 6. Now, obviously, you know, we've already talked about iOS 6, but um, it will be coming out soon. I'm not exactly 100% sure on the date, but here's just a look at it. Uh, you know, the iPhone 5, uh, the iPod Touch 5G, and then just an iPad in the background. As you can see, these are our new devices here, um, but that will be shipping soon as well. Apple threw out some minor updates. Siri got some minor updates, you know, with movies and sports and stuff, the typical stuff, but we've already been over all of this, and you could check out my iOS 6 uh, recaps video if you want as well. And last but not least, coming in October, a new iTunes. Whoa, people still use iTunes. Uh, this is a new program. It looks like it's been redefined. It looks a lot like the iTunes that we got uh, on the Mac. I'm sorry. It looks a lot like the iTunes we get on our iPads today. Uh, but it does look pretty cool. It does look uh, redesigned and stuff. So it looks just about the same, you know, as what you'd get, as you can see here, on an iPod Touch 5G, an iPad. Uh, or a MacBook, as you can see here. Um, but it does look pretty nice. It looks like Apple has officially uh, decided to uh, kick off Ping as well, because uh, up here I don't see any tabs for Ping. 
Uh, but I think we knew uh, that was uh, coming as well. So that's coming soon. Earpods, just so you know, if you want to buy uh, the earpods itself and you don't want to buy a new Apple product, are $29.99. And then the converter uh, from the old USB cable to the new one is going to be 39 bucks, and that will ship in October in case you do happen to get a new product and you want to use uh, the old chargers. So guys, that is pretty much it for me today. I hope I went over everything. If not, please leave some comments below. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. New iPhone, new iPods, uh, and some other really cool stuff with iOS, iTunes, uh, and other accessories. If you like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. Also, be sure to stay tuned of my unboxing and review, hopefully, of the iPhone 5. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, be sure to vote uh, on the color, if I do get the iPhone 5, on what color I should choose. There is a link in the description. Go click it. Help me decide. See you guys in the next video. Peace. What's going on YouTube? It's Mike Cronin from Mike's iPod Up 101. You are plus I was everything unboxings, reviews, how to's, news, giveaways, and more. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out the last updated video. Updated video. Updated video. What's going on YouTube? It's Mike Cronin from Mike's iPod Up 101. You are plus I was everything unboxings, reviews, how to's, news, giveaways, and giveaways, and more.